Speak to your buyers in their language, not in your language. Which brings me to another point. And, you know, this is a point that's very important to me, and I hope it's very important to you. And that is the idea of making at least some of your inbound marketing content totally free with no registration whatsoever. So I want to ask, are there any fans of the Grateful Dead in the room? Raise your hand. Yeah, all right, look at that. Okay, now, please stand up if you've seen the Grateful Dead in concert or any of the bands that followed the dead after Jerry died. That includes Further and Bob Weir and Phil Lesh and friends and whatnot. Okay, look at everyone look around the room and see your, um, your friends who are Grateful Dead fans. Okay, and there's a bunch of people up top too. That's awesome. Keep standing if you've seen them more than 10 times. This is gonna be fun, <laughs> believe me. And I know Halligan is still standing. Okay, keep standing if you've seen them more than 20 times. Yeah, this is fun, isn't it? This is really fun. Now we, now we start to separate it. More than 30, keep standing. More than 50, keep standing. One, two, three, four, five. There's, and there, is there anybody up top who's more than 50? Yeah, we've got one. More than 100. And we've got some. Anyone up top more than 100? Brian is sitting down. Is there any, are you, is there any, oh, there's two, how many times? Do you have a number? Yeah. You, can you tell me it? It's 170. A, 173. 173 <laughs> times. 128 times. 105, you just squeaked over the 100. 120, is there anyone higher than 173? Oh, awesome, may I have your name? Tanya. Tanya, congratulations. You win a copy of Marketing Lessons from the Grateful Dead. It's signed by me and by Brian, we wrote it. So Brian has seen them over 100 times, I've seen them nearly 100 times. So together we're about the same as you. Bill Walton wrote the foreword to the book 750 times, the basketball NBA star. Here's the thing about the Grateful Dead. They allowed their fans to record their concerts. They created content in the form of their concerts, and they allowed people like me, if we wanted to, to bring our microphone stands. We could bring our cameras. We could stick them in the air like this. They actually gave us the best seat in the house for recording, a seat right about here. And we could, we could bring in the gear. Every other band said no recording allowed. Every other band said no cameras around allowed. The Grateful Dead said, sure, why not? You can bring your cameras in. Now, Tanya, is that how you first learned about the dead? You heard like somebody from a dorm room or something? An eight track, awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. Okay, so this is about cre allowing fans to record the concerts. The free content drives knuckleheads like me, like Brian Halligan, like Tanya to drive into the music, learn about it, and then we want to see them live too. And look at it, did you see all the people who stood? There had to have been 40 or 50 people who stood. It's all about that free content. But here's the thing. Oh, and the Grateful Dead, most popular touring band in history, several, over several decades, sold over a billion dollars worth of concert tickets, the Grateful Dead did, as, by using this form of inbound marketing before Market Zuckerberg was even born. The Grateful Dead was doing inbound marketing. And so many people I see when they do marketing only focus on the old rules of measurement sales leads. It forces them to put then a barrier on every piece of content and they, they require an email address to get any piece of content. I want you to think about what content you can make that's totally free just like the Grateful Dead. What content can you make that's totally free that you're going to give away? Because there's new ways that people solve problems. 
And that's the idea of putting that content out completely for free because people share it. Now you can make a hybrid if you want, make something free and then in there a secondary offer where you gather email addresses. But you have to make some of your content free. Here's an example of this. This is Mailer Mailer. They're an email marketing software business. They have a great report called the Email Marketing Metrics Report. Originally you had to have an email to get uh, one of their reports, but then they completely eliminated the requirement for an email address, made it totally free. The number of downloads went up by a factor of 20. They immediately shot to number one for the phrase email marketing metrics, and it drives their business. This form of inbound marketing drives their business. So think about what you can make that's totally free, because you can achieve a similar success.